So now we're just gonna enter this two bedroom house. A big bird from Sesame Street lives in there. 20 to 30 reindeer in these. This is my little dance <laughs> to keep moving so they don't bite me. So this contraption is a bear trap. And we got this little reindeer. I didn't know reindeer came in so many colors. It's sadly our last full day in Finland. We've had a great time here and have been to some amazing places. We start our day with a visit to a museum before ending up at another beautiful park up spot. Finland has been seriously amazing for wild camping. Morning everyone. So today we have come to a museum. We're up in northern Lapland. We're yeah. well and truly in the Arctic Circle. We're in an area called Inari. I know I'm not pronouncing that right. And the museum we've come to is called Sida. We're really excited to explore. Tickets to the museum were 10 euros each. When buying them, the woman at the counter told us a bit more about the museum, which we were happy for because we didn't really know much. The museum's all about the Sami people, who are the indigenous people of this area. In the first room, we get to learn about their clothing and the everyday items they used. The museum also had an exhibition on the local nature and animals. Just learned the fact that when beds are hibernating, they burn through 300 grams of fat a day. It's quite a lot. Wish we were here in winter so we could go on a snowmobile. So now we've come outside to the open air part of the museum where I believe it's like a traditional village of the Sami people so it'll be really interesting to see. So now we're just going to enter this two bedroom house and see what life is like. So you have two beds in the bedroom, a fireplace to keep you warm and a lounge, with couch, dining table, Pots and pans, and another fire to cook with. These are the huts that the reindeer herders would have used when they're out in the wilderness trying to chase down reindeer. <laughs> Look at that cute little hut. I don't have a clue what it's for. Maybe a really big bird. Like Big Bird from Sesame Street lives in there. So this big wooden structure covered in moss is actually a reindeer shelter. It was built for reindeer to escape mosquitoes and other insects during winter. You could fit about 20 to 30 reindeer in these. Wow. Make sure you wear bug repellent because this open air bit is in the forest and there are so many mosquitoes and biting ants. And this is my little dance I'm doing <laughs> to keep moving so they don't bite me. Let's go. Let's get out of here. I think that's an important tip for everywhere in Finland. There's lots of lakes around the place and there's lots of mosquitoes, especially during summertime. So this contraption is a bear trap. What you'd do is you'd put meat at the front here, the bear would have to walk up these sticks to get into here, and then as it did it would knock down this piece of wood here, which would rotate, and then this whole bit here would fall on top of the bear. We were there for about three hours at the museum, yeah. so yeah, now we're going to go find something else to do. Yeah, maybe we'll try some finished food. Mm. Mm -hmm. So if you've watched our vlogs before, you know that in most places we go to, we try and find some kind of souvenir we can use as a Christmas decoration. And we got this little reindeer, since we've seen so many reindeer in the area. Plus, r reindeers are Christmassy, so it's quite <laughs> perfect. <laughs> After a really interesting day at the museum, we head to a nearby lake to park up for the night. And we see loads of reindeer along the way. Couldn't find a restaurant in the town we're in. It is quite small. We kind of drove through the main road and it was only it ended very 200 meters long kind of thing. Yeah, it didn't have much there. So we've come to our park up spot. The weather's turned quite a bit. It's a bit stormy outside, very windy. There's even white caps on the lake behind us. And so for dinner, I'm going to cook a lasagna. Two lovely lasagnas for dinner. A beef lasagna and a veggie lasagna. I'm excited. <laughs> It's got cold. Yeah. So it has. I'm all cozy. These people are getting a bit close. I think I would not go that close to wild animals. I didn't know reindeer came in so many colours. I can't believe there are reindeer at our park up spot. The Arctic Circle has been full of the most amazing park ups. There has been lake after lake after lake. 
which we've loved because for the most part it's been really hot here. We've also loved that at a number of the park-up spots there has been public fire pits and piles of firewood free to use. Wild camping has been really easy here in Finland, even up this far north in the Arctic Circle. As for services, there are truck stops all over the country where we've been able to access free fresh water fill-ups and wastewater dumping. We haven't had to pay for a campsite once. We've had an amazing time in Finland and we're a little sad to leave. But we're excited to keep heading further into the Arctic Circle and up into the north of Norway. So after five hours sleep, we're back up. We made it to the end of the world and we can't see a single thing. <laughs> Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe.